William IV was born on August 21, 1765, in London, England, at Buckingham House. He was the third son and sixth child of King George III and his wife Queen Charlotte. His full name was William Henry, but he was known as the Duke of Clarence until he ascended to the throne. As a member of the royal family, William was given a broad education, including languages, literature, and history. However, he showed little interest in academics and preferred to pursue a career in the Royal Navy. William joined the Navy at the age of 13 and rose through the ranks to become a respected and experienced sailor. He saw action in the American Revolutionary War at the Battle of Cape St. Vincent. Later as a captain of HMS Pegasus he served under Horatio Nelson in the West Indies. From 1791 until 1811, after he had finished his naval career, William lived with Dorothea Jordan, an Irish actress, and together they had ten illegitimate children. After the affair ended, Dorothea ended up in France to escape her creditors, and died impoverished in 1816. In 1818, William married Adelaide of saxe meiningen a German princess who was 27 years his junior. Despite the significant age difference, the couple had a happy and devoted marriage. They had two daughters who both died in infancy, leaving them without an heir. William's older brother, King George IV, died in 1830, making William the King of England at the age of 64. His ascension to the throne was unexpected, as his elder brother had no surviving legitimate children. William's coronation was on 8 September 1831, but first he didn't want a coronation at all, as he was not into all the pomp and ceremony like his predecessor George IV, in the end he had a low-key modest coronation which helped to contribute to his more down-to-earth image among the people. Due to his naval connections he was known as the Sailor King. William IV's reign was marked by significant social and political reforms, many of which were driven by popular pressure for change. One of the most important reforms was the Reform Act of 1832, which expanded voting rights and reduced corruption in the election process. William was also an advocate for reform in the Royal Navy. He oversaw the transition from sail to steam-powered ships, which was a major technological advance in naval warfare. He also worked to improve conditions for sailors, including better pay and living conditions. William was known for his affability and accessibility. He was friendly and approachable, often mingling with ordinary people in public places. This made him a popular figure with the public, who saw him as a down-to-earth and relatable monarch. In 1834, William appointed Sir Robert Peel as Prime Minister, who would go on to pass significant social and economic reforms. These included the abolition of slavery in the British Empire and the creation of a modern police force. However, William and Peel clashed over the issue of Catholic emancipation, which William supported but Peel did not. This led to Peel's resignation as Prime Minister in 1835. In 1835, William dissolved Parliament and called for new elections, which resulted in a Whig victory. The new Whig government, led by Lord Melbourne, implemented further social and political reforms, including the Poor Law Amendment Act of 1834. William's health began to decline in the latter years of his reign, and he suffered from gout, deafness, and other ailments. He became increasingly reliant on his wife, Adelaide, for support and companionship. William's relationship with his sister-in-law, Duchess of Kent, mother to Princess Victoria, was strained, and he did not involve Victoria in his affairs of state. He wanted to live until Victoria was 18 so that she could inherit the throne as queen, and not have a regency period. On June 20, 1837, William suffered a stroke while in his bedroom at Windsor Castle. His wife Adelaide who had dutifully looked after him, was at his bedside as he died. He was 71. He was succeeded by his niece Victoria, who was just 18 years old at the time. William was buried in St. George's Chapel at Windsor Castle, in a tomb he had designed himself. His funeral was attended by members of the royal family and dignitaries from across Europe. William's reign was marked by significant social and political changes, including the Reform Act of 1832 and the abolition of slavery in the British Empire. He was also known for his advocacy of naval reform. William's reign paved the way for many of the social and political reforms that characterized the Victorian era.